How to spec a tube. What type of tube am I looking for? Extruded tubes are seamless. Plastic resin is extruded into tube form and then cut to size before being headed or joined with the separately molded shoulders and head. Made of extruded polyethylene, monolayer tubes are ideal when a barrier layer is not needed. That is for most personal care products and are more recyclable. Typically polyethylene with an added barrier layer when needed for certain formulations, including solvents, oils, gases, and SPF. Co-extruded tubes can have many layers. The green factor for extruded tubes is that they can now be made with PCR or post-consumer resin. Here's an example of the anatomy of a co-extruded tube with a layer of EVOH surrounded by bonding layers and layers of polyethylene. Laminate tubes are composed of several layers of film that are adhered to each other with an adhesive or tie layer. Once the layers are laminated together, they are rolled into a tube shape and cut to size before being headed or joined with the separately molded head and shoulders. Laminates can be printed before or after being formed into a tube shape. Foil tubes are comprised of layers of plastic film, typically an inner layer compatible with the fill, a middle barrier layer, and an exterior printable layer. Plastic creates the look of an aluminum tube with equal barrier properties to aluminum, but with the hand feel and easy usability of plastic. Aluminum tubes are impact extruded or punched into shape by a mold from a small aluminum disc. Unlike laminate and extruded tubes, the aluminum tube's shoulders, neck, and orifice are molded along with the tube itself in one continuous piece. Aluminum tubes are 100% recyclable. Internal liners can be applied to adjust for product compatibility. Aluminum tubes can be molded with a thin layer sealing the orifice that can later be punched through with the cap by the consumer. How can I decorate my tube? Extruded tubes can have custom color foils and films. Silk screening, hot stamping, can be clear, frosted or solid, and can be coated for a gloss or matte effect. Laminate tubes can have full color offset printing, silk screening, and hot stamping, and can be coated for a gloss or matte effect. Aluminum tubes can have offset printing, base color tinting to show aluminum texture, solid white, pearlized, or clear finishes. New innovations in digital printing make it more possible than ever to print beautiful, full color, full bleed artwork. I've decided on the type of tube I want. What's next? How much product will you be putting in your tube? This will determine the sizing options available to you. Choose your size and shape. Some common options are oval, round, tall and skinny, short and squat. See our tube size chart to estimate your final tube size. Choose your closure. Tubes now have many of the same closure and dispensing closure options available as traditional bottles. Production stock or stock molded closures are available to suit most market needs. There are many options available for sealing the orifice of your tube. Tamper evident seals can extend the shelf life of an unopened product and prevent contamination, as well as ensure the customer that they are purchasing fresh product. Tamper evident foil seals can be applied over the orifice of the tube prior to capping. The consumer can then remove the seal before use. Flip to cap dispensing closures can have built-in seals to prevent leakage and spoiling of the product in transit and after opening. A pintail seal plugs the orifice when the cap is closed. A crab claw seal creates an airtight ring around the orifice. What happens then? Your Oberk representative will review your specs and begin the quoting process. Once you've arrived at an approved quote and submit a PO, the production process begins. The tubes are manufactured, assembled, and shipped to you or your filler.